Hi. Not really doing great. <clears throat> it's Friday, May 12th, 10 a.m. So I just got back from Rothman Orthopedics. This was the doctor that did my original ACDF surgery. Um, where do I start? So I have been in chronic pain since for about a month now. Um, from my the back of my neck, down into my shoulder blade, um, down into my breast and across my breast, in my armpit, down my tricep, into my elbow, down my forearm, into all my fingers, and it's creeping into like my middle finger on. Um, I've not slept in about a week or more. It actually feels like it's been a month since I haven't slept. Um, I was in the ER. You guys saw me after my ER visit when they discharged me. Since the ER visit, I developed superficial blood clots in my arm where the IV was. I do look tired. <clears throat> um, so, been in pain. I'm taking my Vicodin. I'm taking GABA. Um, and then I'm taking ibuprofen for, I guess, the blood clot, but also just for pain. Um, smoking marijuana and um, yeah so what's my update what's my update I feel like my spirits gone um, the chronic pain that I'm in the electric pain the nerve pain the chronic nerve pain sorry I'm trying to access the YouTube because you guys had sent me a lot of really awesome um, comments, questions, and what have you, and I just wanted to pull it up while I was doing this. Um, again, I feel like my spirit's kind of gone. It could just be today. It could be because I'm super tired. I had to get up for an 8 a.m. appointment. Um, but, all right, where are we at? So, um, I saw my original surgeon. Like I said, it seems like the neurosurgeon that I saw kind of passed me off and, um, sent me back to my original surgeon, which is fine. I like my original surgeon. I just wanted to get different viewpoints. Um, so the pain sucks. It's 24 seven. It gets numbed a little bit, but it's to the point where like, I can't grip things. I can't like do my makeup, like without the pain in my, my whole palm. And like, it just sucks. Like the thing that sucks about pain is it's invisible. Unless you're actively outwardly going, Ooh, ow, 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 like, and letting people know, like, ow, it hurts. If you're a functioning person, like, you look like you are fine. Like, you can't describe that level of pain that you're in, especially if you're doing things and trying to make a living for yourself and, and what have you, but it just sucks. Like, the amount of, like, shocking, aching, stabbing, burning, shocking, like pulsing. I don't, it's like every single word, but it's like nonstop and to the point where it's affecting like me being able to like do makeup and like, oh, like steer, gripping the steering wheel, stupid things like that. Because it's like, like, I keep cracking my knuckles thinking like, oh, that's going to relieve the pain, but it makes it worse. Cause I keep forgetting like, you know, like when you, when I'm like pushing on like my armpit, like where the pain is, or I'm like push, pushing on like my neck or holding on to like my hand or putting a heating pad on like it seems like it's making it worse it feels good temporarily but then it makes it worse um anyway back to the doctor um so went to the orthopedic surgeon the one that did my original surgery today he looked at my mri and he's basically saying that my mri looks good that structurally i am good that there isn't really anything pinching on nerves. He said, I can get an EMG, which we're going to do. I'm going to get another EMG. But he said, Kim, here's the thing. Structurally, like the reason that we did the surgery was because of how bad my neck was. He's like, we want it to prevent paralysis in case you got into an accident or whatever else. Like that's how bad I was. He said structurally, like according to him, after reviewing like different images, he doesn't think that there's failed fusion on that first disc um he doesn't see the halo that the other doctor saw he's like i don't agree that there's a failed fusion he's like yes with this many levels he's like i don't know many people that are your age that he's like i don't think i've ever done a three level fusion on someone 38 years old back when i had it done he's like you were pretty bad he's like you are going to feel compression you're going to feel 
like um, the tension and everything and the adjacent segment um, uh, degeneration and what have you. He's like, but your fusion is stable. He's like, I do not recommend another fusion. The other doctor was saying I need to get fused from like the skull down and into my thoracic spine. Um, there's someone that just reached out to me named Mike um, on my Instagram. He just had what I was supposed to have through the back, the posterior from C3 to like T1 or 2. He just woke up, I think, last night from that surgery and it looks nasty. He's saying that he doesn't have the nerve pain down the hand, but again, he just got out of surgery. Um, Mike, if you're watching, I really do hope that you're doing okay. Um, but yeah, like it's a gnarly surgery. My doctor's like, Kim, you're 40 years old. Structurally, you don't need it. And I started crying. I was like, well, what about this pain that I'm in? Like the pain is nonstop and it's like in my neck and I press on here and I can feel it shoot down. He's like, he's like the ulnar nerve issue would be from your elbow down, which I don't know. But again, he's the doctor. It's just, I don't know. Um, he's like, we can do an EMG. He's like, but Kim, if the EMG says, you know, he's like, your MRI doesn't show that there's any nerve compression in the spine. And I was like, well, like, is there something we can do? He's like, there, I don't think that there's anything surgically that can be done. And if we do do something surgically, you're going to really hate me when you wake up. Um, hold on. I'm going to see if I can stitch this. I just had a video and then I had to hit pause because Rothman called me back. Um, anyway, according to my doctor, he doesn't think that a surgery is warranted. He said next surgery is to stabilize, you know, so that your spinal cord's not being compressed. He's like, spine surgery does not, is not indicated for pain. And he's like, I can't say if there's anything that we can do to fix your pain. Unfortunately, the nerve pain, you know, even if there is nothing being compressed, it's sometimes part of the issue because of what it was in terms of what it was compressed before and that's just unfortunately like what some people experience post-surgery is that nerve pain and I was just so upset in the in the meeting today because I was just like this pain is debilitating like I can put on a happy face and I can drug myself up and tolerate certain things but like last night I was like oh I'm gonna sleep well tonight and I laid on my right side, which I knew I shouldn't have because as soon as the pillow pushed into my neck, like everything lit up and I was experiencing that for a couple hours. Um, and then like, I don't know if anybody else experiences this. Um, when you start falling asleep, that falling asleep scares you because it's like, oh my God, I'm going paralyzed or oh my God, I'm going to lose. I don't know. There's so much PTSD. I think that comes from a spine surgery especially a cervical spine surgery because it regulates everything and issue in it from neck down is just such a mind trip um like i said i'm doing acupuncture next week i'm going to go back to my pain management doctor oh that's what my doctor said i said well if i get an emg he's like you can get an emg and it might show you know that you're having you know some some disconnect or what have you and all that really would do is it not necessarily really indicate it for for surgery, but maybe for like spinal um, um, injections or something, it'll like let people know where to put it. So according to him, when I said, well, what do I do? He's like, pain management. And I'm like, so basically pills. I'm going to like, I do not want the rest of my life to be pills. Um, it seems like pain can kind of come and go. Um, but I just like, I was like driving home and I was like, so it's just, it's just frustrating, you know, it's three years in and he even said, he's like, Kim, like knowing what we know now and the pain that you're in and everything else, but even seeing three years post-surgery that your, um, hardware and everything looks as good as it does and as clean as it does. He's like, I still would have recommended that you would have done it because you were bad and we wanted to make sure you weren't going to be paralyzed or dead. So I guess hearing him say that is like reassuring, like, yeah, I needed the surgery, but this pain just sucks. And I like, I have like this group of friends they are all my therapy friends. They're all therapists. And I was like venting to them about the pain. And like, they were offering suggestions like meditation, breathing exercises, yoga, this, that, 
therapy, this, and then it's just like, no, thanks, did this, doesn't work, to the point where they're like, well, I'm just running out of ideas, and I can tell people get frustrated hearing the, the, the expression of pain because people just want to help, but then they get frustrated where it's like, well, I don't know what to tell you. If nothing's going to work or you're not going to do anything, like, it's almost like that feeling where it's like, if you're not going to help yourself, why am I going to help you? But it's like, I am trying to help myself. I'm doing everything to try to help myself. Um, and I'm just trying not to make things worse. Um, and sometimes you just get so depressed and like tired of, I mean, every time I go to the doctors, it's $65. All of my imaging is 120. The ER visits that I've had are like 400 a pop. It's just, it's expensive. It's tiring, but I am trying, like, like I said, um, I want to open up like the comments that you guys have met, um, sent me where it's like someone just got the same surgery. They only felt numbness in one hand, but now pins and needles, both arms. It's getting worse than before, sir. That sucks. And they can't figure out why or what to do. Maybe you're going to try acupuncture. Yeah, I, I feel you there. When the doctors are like, we don't know. It's like, well, isn't this your specialty? So yeah, so I'm gonna get another EMG done to kind of see why the nerves are flaring up as they are, but it sounds like pain management, meds, doping yourself up, nerve pain is gonna, or nerve pills are gonna be the thing. Healing vibes, thanking you for the journey. Don't let anyone make me feel, oh, thanks, Lisa. Yeah, I am trying to look into other options, but you know, after hearing this today, like the one doctor being like, oh, I think that you need, you probably are going to need eventually, like from your skull down to your fucking ass crack, like fused, you know, and then he passes me off back to my doctor. And then this doctor's like, yeah, that's not fair for him to have said that. And then to send you back to me, that kind of like gave my doctor a weird vibe. So he was just like, I totally do not recommend it. There's nothing indicating it. Like your spinal cord is not being compressed right now. Like you don't have stenosis in the neck anymore, which is good great. I just had a three level fusion on April 10th, nine months of numbness and tignant. And now the pain that comes with it, Ugh. your surgery has helped. Oh, Kevin, I hope that you continue to feel better. Um, posture, how we stand is a big factor in pain. Yeah. I think I have pretty, I've always been told I have good posture. Um, marijuana helps. I do smoke the flower. I can't do edibles. If I do edibles, it's like a nine hour trip. I'm already anxious to begin with and marijuana, no matter what strain it is, seems to make me a bit much. Um, we definitely have the nerve damage and the nerve issues. Yeah. And lots of people are thinking about acupuncture now. Good. Post-surgery. Man, so many of us. C3 to C7. So Gary, I hope that your pain is relieved and that you're doing well. Make sure that you're doing your protein. Don't do too much. Yeah. More surgery after the first ACDR. What's ACDR? Maybe you meant F, Joseph. Um, that went well, but the rest of your spine, th thoracic, lumbar is in bad shape. Yeah, I feel you there. Um, Paul, thank you. Zachary, thank you. I know that everybody mentions things like the Texas Back Institute and, and places in Florida and like Texas and everything. I'll be honest, guys, like doing this journey alone. I mean, I have some friends, I guess, but I work for myself. I don't get paid time off. I have a cat. Um, I can't travel to go get surgery done and then to stay there, I guess. Um, and then once I come home, like, do I have to kind of go back? I don't I, I maybe that's me like shoot myself in the foot kind of thing, but I have to stay local just because of responsibilities here and don't have much help and I can't see myself traveling, especially if I can't drive, I can't get surgery out of state. You know, I just, that's not an option. I mean, outside of like Jersey or something. So I gotta like put this down because I can't hold this anymore. Um, hopefully you can still hear me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I appreciate the recommendations for like Texas and stuff like that. I just, I can't, I don't see myself um, traveling down there. Ehab. See, I knew it was Ehab before. Um, did I ask the doctor about the abnormal alignment of my cervical vertebrae? I mean, that's just it. I mean, it's just, there is going to be some pressure just because of how the spine is, but he doesn't, it's like, well, even if that is the issue, what do you do about it? 
Um, again, my current doctor as of today does not recommend more surgery. Man, I cannot get comfortable. Um, as of right now, he does not recommend more surgery given the most recent MRI. The Song of Our Scars. Okay. 15 days post C4 to C7. Man, so many people. Try CBD. I think I'm, Eddie, I think I might look into CBD instead of THC, but I know when I tried CBD before, I had to smoke it and it like, it just didn't seem like it did anything. I don't know if there's like different doses or something. I don't know. Vicky, thank you. You're in PT. C4, balance issues. <laughs> My ranting sounds like you. I love that like I can like vent for you guys and that I can validate where you guys are at because again, I think our story and our song as somebody said earlier is just all the same. Andrea, you can't sleep, can't get comfortable in the armpit. Yeah, like it's it's like I don't it's weird. I don't know if it's the pain meds that I'm on, but this isn't so bad, but I still have it up in the armpit and then like down. But man, the four, the, the elbow, forearm, wrist, knuckles, fingers, that just blows. And again, like I think I get myself worked up sometimes. But um, yeah, so my original surgeon was an orthopedic surgeon. Then I went and got a couple consults from neurosurgery. Then I just got passed back to my orthopedic surgeon. And I'm at this point now where like, do I even want to call University of Penn and get more neurosurgeons opinions? I don't know. There's my cat. Um. Yeah, so he said if I didn't have ACDF and laminectomy, I would end up like Christopher Reeve. Ooh. I don't know if I've... It's been almost one and a half years and you still have the numbness on both hands. I can deal with the damn numbness. It's the pain now that I can't deal with. Not sure if I want to have an epidural again because it didn't really help before, but I don't know. Anyway, like uh, Natalia, like you all, like everybody seems like we have all the same stuff and... I don't know if in my last video, other than like everyone saying like wishing me well, it seems like a lot of people that have kind of commented, um, it's everyone that's having like very similar issues that have had the surgery. Um, uh, Stefano, you did have acupuncture and it helps. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping that that helps and doesn't cause any other issues. Um, but yeah, the, yeah. I need a professional acupuncturist. Oh, you're the one that I did look into in terms of like the uh, blah, 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 the other things. So guys, I'm not gonna like keep this video going too long. I'm gonna try to attach it to the other one because like I started saying something. So hopefully like I'm able to figure out how to like edit things, but greetings from Switzerland um, and everything else from, who was this, Stefano, thank you so much. So um, I love this community. I love the fact that I don't feel so alone. Um, that I can commiserate and that you guys just get it. And it's not that it's like I'm seeking attention. It's not that I'm trying to say I'm so bad off, feel bad for me, um, pity me. It's not that at all. This is just me talking out loud and ugh, I almost wish we could get like a support group going and we could all kind of like maybe. And somehow I ended that video. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just clicking buttons. I can't feel my hand. So it's just like clicking shit. So this is going to be a third video that I attach, but it's basically just me saying, I hope everyone is doing okay, and if you're in pain, I hope you get some relief. If you're finding relief, maybe put some shit down below, comment about what actually works for you. Um, I'm back to using, um, I mean, God, if you look at this, like, I got my heating pad that I'm constantly using, and this is the thing I talked about before. This is the, I don't know, trigger point thing. Oops. That's like the trigger point cane that I've been using. Um, and I know that when I did PT before, they were like, we don't really recommend it because whatever. But I use it and it gives me a little bit of relief, but not much. It just kind of feels good because, I don't know, uh, it just feels nice. Um, I, I am not using my TENS unit because I think I overdid it. And according to my doctor today, he's like, I think also some muscles are a bit inflamed. Like, no shit. But I need a professional masseuse to kind of come and like help me. <laughs> So if any, never mind. I'm not even gonna put that out there. But um, so I have a tens unit. I'm not really doing that because I overdid it and I was in a lot of pain. So right now I'm just sticking to heat, some stretching, um, and resting. I really want to go for a walk because it's so nice out, but it just sucks because anything I tend to do tends to make it worse. And it's just like this 
it's like the double-edged sword. It's like you have to move, you have to stay like flexible. You can't sit still because then long-term it's not good for you. But then it's like, well, how do I, how do I exercise and do these things when it's going to put me in more pain? It's like, well, ugh. so maybe I'll just get super high. I'll get really, really high and like do something. I don't know. I'm trying to be chipper because I'm just miserable, but I guess the good news is, according to this doctor, he does not recommend surgery. The bad news is, it's kind of like your shit out of luck. You got to figure out how to manage your pain forever. I thought it was a flare, but this flare is lasting a bit too long. So it does seem like pain management's going to come back in, which sucks because I was really getting excited to maybe I can get back to pilot lessons and flying because that was kind of really exciting. But knowing that I had to go back on these pills, it's kind of like, oh, I guess that hope or dream or goal is over but anyway like I said I'm gonna end it here because I could just keep going on and on but that's the update I'm gonna go for an EMG I'm gonna go for acupuncture I gotta go back to pain management in a week I think we're gonna try to eventually switch from GABA back to Lyrica um, and hydrocodone um, which is what I've been doing um, so yeah any questions let me know but I really would love like, I love the fact that you guys are sharing your stories and what you're going through. So if we can share like little tips and tricks as to what gives pain relief, whether it's nerve pain relief um, or just muscle relief or anything, like if there's any podcasts or any YouTubes or TikToks that you guys think are funny or uplifting or educational, if you guys could share the resources for everyone else to benefit from, that would be awesome. Um, I do read everyone's stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you. And I hope you all have a good weekend as best as you can from my house to yours. Be good, be safe, be well. I gotta stop saying that. But anyway, be good. Have a good one. Thanks guys. Bye.